In this recipe, I'm going to show you how to prepare cauliflower super easy. You can actually make this recipe in less time than it makes that it takes to make traditional rice. So what we're using today is we're going to use cauliflower. This is a staple in my kitchen. I always have a head of cauliflower in my kitchen. Why? Because I can use it to make cauliflower mashed potatoes. You can check out the other video on, on that that I've done. Or I use it to make cauliflower rice. And all we need to do is start with fresh cauliflower. Don't use frozen because frozen can be a little mushy and you're not going to get the right texture. So you wash some fresh cauliflower, cut it up into pieces, and you're going to pop it into your food processor or blender. And what we're going to do is we're going to rice the cauliflower. It's kind of a term that's come up for making it into small little pieces like rice. So obviously this isn't rice, but cauliflower has a unique ability to hold the texture like rice. And we can season it after we rice it to really be a good replacement for cauliflower rice. Now cauliflower has a mere three carbs per cup, whereas most rice is somewhere between, oh, 43 and 45 carbs per cup. So if you're watching your waistline or trying to keep your blood sugar down or you're avoiding grains, this is a really good alternative that you may be able to utilize. So as you see, I'm just stuffing it all in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on and blend it up, or actually rice it, let's just say. Pulsed it enough so it's in little pieces, it's not too mushy, and a lot of um, folks will kind of refer to this like snow or, um, I don't know, I guess I would call it like little snow pieces. This is, you know, the texture that we want. So let's move on to cooking the rice now. And in cooking the rice, we could do a couple different things with it. We can flavor this or create different flavor, pro pop, uh, flavor profiles based on your need. So there's lots of different recipes out there and every week I make it, I kind of do usually something a little bit different. I wouldn't say I have a staple that I use, but you could use, for example, a turmeric or curry and make a curried cauliflower rice. You could do an herb of choice. So one week you might put some basil, the next week you might use parsley or you can use cilantro. Um, you can also put some vegetables in a pan with some coconut oil and just saute those for a few minutes and put your cauliflower rice on top of that and have a vegetable rice peel off. So lots of things we can do here. What I'm going to do today is put it into my pan and I'm going to show you how I'm going to season it up today. So we're going to take the cauliflower rice and I'm actually going to take this little insert here out because if I don't it's going to dump in the pan and we don't want that. So I'll take the cauliflower rice we're going to head on over here and put it into a pan which I had about a tablespoon of coconut oil and I have this on medium high heat and I'm just going to kind of let that coat and move around in there. And what I'm going to add to this today is I'm going to add actually some fresh cilantro. So what I have here is just some fresh cilantro. I just gave it a rough um, cut through, a little dicing, chopping of it, whatever word you want to use, but basically took some cilantro, just cut it up a little bit, and then I'm going to toss it into the pan here. And this needs to cook for about five to eight minutes. Towards the end of it is generally better to put some of the herbs in so they're not, you know, um, overcooked and you're getting all the nutrients out of them. Um, but once you cook this for five to eight minutes, again, you want to put parsley, you want to put cilantro, you want to put basil in, and whatever you want to do, you could be as simple as I'm going to be today, and there's nothing wrong with this, is adding a little salt at the end and a little dash of pepper. Cracked pepper on there, a little salt, the cilantro. So this is going to be a cilantro lime, excuse me, a cilantro rice. You want to add lime to it. Another thing you can do. So what I'm getting at here is you can really create this dish to be any type of flavor or profile that you want to utilize. And after five to eight minutes of cooking, and again, you'll kind of judge it depending on the heat and how fast you're cooking it, medium, high heat, generally five, six minutes tends to do it. Um, being that the cauliflower is in small pieces, it cooks quickly. All right, so the cauliflower is cooked by six minutes here. It is done. So here is a super easy, what did that take me? Less than 10 minutes to make this fresh side dish. Today's cilantro riced cauliflower. 
also called cauliflower rice, and I seasoned it simply with some fresh cilantro and some salt and pepper. Simplicity at its best. And let me get a bite of this because it looks delicious. Mmm, so good. If you've never made this, mmm, the cilantro just comes through. It tastes amazing. So fresh. The little particles of cauliflower in there, it's a real good fake in the funk because it really gives a replica of rice without being rice. And it's so delicious and good for you. Enjoy.